Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nichols Nook. My name is Jess and today I will be sharing with you some beautiful home decor items that I have recently purchased for our new house. already subscribed to our channel you will know that we recently moved into a brand new house in Florida it is super super small but it is so adorable and cute and in Florida you definitely pay for location 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 so we are five minutes from the beach but our house is very small it is new but it's tiny so that's okay However, I wanted to make it feel cozy and at home. And in this house, I chose to go with very bright, like neutrals, whites, grays, those kinds of colors, because if not, then it would make this house feel even smaller. Eventually, when we do our house tour, you will be able to see that a lot of the things that I went for are very, very neutral because I just wanted it to be fresh and open. And then we can always add in pops of color, you know, for different seasons or holidays, things like that. So just keep that in mind when I show you some of these new home decor pieces. I don't really necessarily know what my style is. I guess more of like the modern farmhouse. Joanna Gaines is a huge inspiration to me. It's just absolutely beautiful and timeless. And so that's kind of the vibe that I was going for. So if you like that style, definitely stick around and keep watching. So first of all, I want to share with you this coat rack that I got and it's way too tall to fit in the frame. So I will have to pull it down. All right. So this is the coat rack that I got from Home Goods, and it was very reasonably priced. I thought this would look really pretty by our front door. We just kind of need some height over there. So even though we don't really wear jackets a whole lot in Florida, we have a pretty short winter, I thought that this would add some nice height to our foyer area. As you guys know, Chief is always wherever we are. <laughs> but I wanted to share this chair with you guys as well. So this chair I got from TJ Maxx. It is currently my office chair and it is so comfy, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's super, super comfy and I absolutely love it. Again, it can be dressed up or down with pillows or just any kind of pops of color that we wanted to use. Next, I wanted to share with you this beautiful modern shelf that I got from TJ Maxx. I thought this was so, so pretty. And we actually have three bedrooms in our house. So we have our bedroom, the guest bedroom, and then the third bedroom is actually a combination room. So it is going to be combined eventually with a nursery and my office. But right now, since we don't have a little one, it is just my office. So I know you guys have asked a lot of questions about that as well. And we do have some videos coming out regarding kind of our plans to have a baby. So stay tuned for that. But as of right now, this is gonna be in our office slash future nursery room. I just love the modern look of it. And I think, you know, whether we have a boy or girl in the future, this is very neutral. So we can just kind of dress it up depending on what we end up having. Also for the office, I have these two little bins from the Target dollar spot. I believe they were $3, yes, $3. And since my desk doesn't have any drawers, I'm going to be using these bins to hold some of my office materials. All right, so also for the office slash nursery room, I got this fuzzy white pillow. <laughs> Jazz, what did he say it looked like? Oh my gosh, I can't remember now. Oh, I wish he was here right now, but I think, what did he say? Oh, maybe that it looked like Teddy, his mom's dog, because he's like white and fluffy. I don't know, I'll have to ask him. But I just thought this was so cute. And eventually, when we do turn this room into a nursery, hopefully, um, we will put this on a gliding rocking chair or a glider, and it'll just be nice and fuzzy and soft. I love it. For the office, I also got this pencil cup, and it's actually a planter holder. I got it from Hobby Lobby, but I thought it would be perfect just to sit on my desk and put my pens and pencils in so that everything's kind of just in one place. So next I got this gorgeous white mirror from Bell's Outlet. It was, I believe $25 and I just loved it. I thought it was so, so pretty. It kind of has that whitewash look to it, but I loved the designs around it. I thought it was so cool looking. So I think I'm gonna put this in the dining room. I'm not really sure yet, but when we do our house tour, you guys will see where this ends up. Next, I got these two shabby chic candle holders from TJ Maxx. 
This one was only $5.99 and this one was $7.99. And I actually have some that are super, super similar in our bedroom already and I love those. So I got these ones for our foyer area. Next, I got this small, beautiful wreath to go in. Oh, it actually looks like a heart. Can you guys see that? I don't know, maybe it's just where I'm sitting. <laughs> Cute. But I got this to kind of just lay on a hook that I have. I did get some hooks that I'll show you guys next. And I was thinking just I would hang this on there as a little decoration piece, maybe in the laundry room or in the little hallway that comes from the garage. So I'm not sure yet, but I thought that was super pretty and I got this at TJ Maxx. So here is the hook set that I was talking about. I got this from Marshalls and this is the Sheffield Home Wall Decor, but I thought it was just so pretty. It is very rustic and farmhouse-like. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the laundry room or in the hallway coming from the garage, but this will be perfect just for probably like my purse and things like that to hang on. And then I'll probably just put that little wreath on it. I don't know, somewhere here, just to kind of decorate it a little bit and make it a little bit more cozy and sweet. All right, so next I got this basket from TJ Maxx as well. I love this because it has a lid at the top and it's not huge like a hamper, but I'm going to put this in our foyer for shoes, so any kind of loose shoes that we have in the living room or that we take off when we come into the house, this is where they're gonna go so that they are out of sight because I cannot stand to see shoes out and about. So that is why I wanted a basket with a lid and I love that this one is not huge like a hamper. So it's nice and small, it'll fit perfectly under a little foyer table or something like that and I just can't wait to use this. Can you tell I love TG Maxx? They have everything, they're the best. So next I found these crates in the Target dollar spot for only $3 a piece. These are so cute. I actually picked up four of these. Two of them I already put in the guest bedroom and I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with these yet, but fall is coming up so I figured I would find a spot for them, even maybe on the front porch with some flowers or pumpkins or something like that, I don't know. But they are so cute and super affordable. $3 and the Target dollar spot. I love, love them. Next, I got Chief some dog bowls. <laughs> How cute is this? It has like the little hairpin legs. I just love it. I think it's so adorable. It definitely fits with the farmhouse theme and he doesn't really need one, but I thought this just fit with our decor better. So I think his other one will probably just keep, maybe if we ever get a puppy or something like that. I don't know, but for now, I think I'm gonna stick this where his current bowl is. These bowls are actually larger than what he has now, and he is a 70 pound dog, so I mean, he needs big bowls, but I got this at Home Goods. All right, next I'm gonna show you a couple of wall hanging pieces. So this first wall hanging piece is from Tuesday morning, yes, Tuesday morning, and I'm gonna use this for mail. So it's gonna be up in our foyer area underneath. I believe I wanna do some stacked shelves, kind of like what we did in our last house in our living room. They were kind of offset a little bit. And so I think I'm gonna put this in one of the empty spaces, probably on the bottom, so that once we check the mail, we can put it in here and then empty it quickly just so things don't build up but I just loved the look of this. I thought it was super pretty and it has that modern farmhouse vibe. All right, so the next item that I picked up is one of my absolute favorite finds. I found this at Tuesday morning and it is a window pane, which we do have a window pane already, but this one has that galvanized steel look behind it and it's magnetic. So I can actually use these clips that it came with. These are magnetic clips. These look very similar to what I used when I was teaching on whiteboards. So if you don't have anything like that, you can just go to Dollar Tree and I believe they have some there. But yeah, you can just use them to clip pictures or whatever you want on this magnetic board. So I'm super excited to use this. It has that rustic modern farmhouse look, but I just think it's so pretty and I can't wait to use it. And then one thing that I was really looking for was one of those huge farmhouse clocks and I found so many that were super pretty and were exactly what I was looking for. But again, because our house is small, 
even the small amount of things that we already have on the walls has kind of brought everything in tighter in our living room and kitchen area. So I didn't want to put too much up just because I didn't want to enclose it so much where we felt really cramped. So I ended up going with a smaller clock and I found this at Tuesday morning and it has kind of that stainless steel or the galvanized steel look and it still looks very farmhouse like but it's a lot smaller than one of those huge huge clocks and so this will probably go in our foyer slash living room area as well and then last but not least we did get a bed in a bag comforter set which i'll show you guys now so this is the bedding set that we got and i ordered this off of amazon i thought it was really pretty but it had a couple of different pops of blue and has some blues, teals, grays, and yes, it's just a bed in a bag, but I was looking for a California king size because I wanted my comforter to drape over. Right now, our comforter is just kind of dingy and it only comes to like, like if this was our bed, it would come right over the edge of it and I just don't like that look. And Chaz and I are always tugging back and forth in the middle of the night trying to steal covers from one another. So I figured if we went up a size to a California King on a King bed, then it would hang over a little bit. So I am excited to use this in our bedroom. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the home decor items that I have recently picked up. Again, I went for a lot of neutrals just because once I get the base of my house done, then I can add in pops of color again for like different seasons or holidays and fall is coming up super, super soon and things are already out in the stores and I am seriously having to have some willpower. I have bought a couple of items already for fall. One of them I cannot wait to share with you guys. So I have to wait a little bit longer to share that with you guys though because, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm just now getting settled with the base of the home. So I'm not ready to set out my fall stuff yet. Plus I do need to go through my fall bin from stuff that I had before to see what I had before I start buying everything. But definitely stay tuned for a fall home. I don't know if I'm going to do a home decor haul or a, an updated house tour. I'm not sure, but I definitely will be doing a house tour sometime soon. So please stay tuned for that. Chaz and I are super excited to share with you the progress that we have made in these first few months being here in Florida. So if you are not subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being part of the family. We can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!